Hi and welcome. My name is Julianne Cost, and on this episode of The Complete Picture, we're going to take a look at the difference between duplicating a smart object on the Layers panel versus creating a copy of that smart object. So I'm going to start here in Lightroom. I'll right mouse click on this image, choose Edit In, and then open it as a smart object in Photoshop. This smart object I want to place into that other template file. So probably the easiest way to do this would be to tap the V key to get the Move tool. Drag and drop from the image area on top of the other tab that will pop the template file to the foreground. And then move your cursor into the image area and release in order to release that file. You can see that Photoshop is preparing that smart object. Now I don't need this other file open, so let's go ahead and close that and talk a little bit about what I just did. So I opened the document as a smart object, which basically was a Photoshop file or a TIFF file with the smart object embedded. And I've now taken that file and dropped it into this template. So this smart object, which we can see on the Layers panel, is actually the original RAW file. Well, it's not the original RAW file, it's a copy of the RAW file embedded in this document. So I need to scale this down, so I'm going to use Free Transform, Command T, and then Command 0 so that I can see the transformation handles. And then we'll scale this, holding down the Shift key to make sure that we constrain the proportions. Now we'll go ahead and enter that reduction in size, but don't forget, because this is a smart object, we can always resize it larger without losing any quality. All right, now I want this image to be on the left-hand side, but I'm going to put three smaller versions of the same image on the right side. So I'll mask out the area by selecting the Marquee tool and just dragging a marquee around this area. And then I'll click on the mask icon, making sure that the smart object is selected in order to mask that smart object. Now the great thing about this is that because this is a mask, it really doesn't matter if I hid an area that I later want, right? I can always unlink the mask from the layer, click on the layer, and then use the Move tool in order to reposition the layer within the image here. All right, now I want three copies so that I can put them in each one of these open slots. There's two ways to make a copy of a smart object. You can go to Layer, Smart Objects, and choose New Smart Object via Copy, but that will actually duplicate that embedded RAW file and make a new smart object, which might be what you want, but in this case it's not, because what I really want are multiple instances of the same smart object. That way, if I make a change to one, all of the instances of that smart object will change. So in order to do that, I'm going to duplicate the layer on the Layers panel. And we can do that a variety of different ways. Probably the easiest is Command or Control J to duplicate the layer. Now I don't need this mask, so let's just right mouse click and delete that layer mask. And let's transform this, Command T or Control T, and then we'll make it smaller and reposition it over here in the upper right there. All right, we'll apply that transformation and just scoot it up a little bit more, but you can see that the edges are below that layer on the Layers panel, so let's just scoot that up so now the edges are on top. Now I would like to make two more copies of that, so I'll click on the Smart Object in the Layers panel and use Command J and Command J again, so now I have my three copies. Of course, they're all sitting right on top of each other, so let's move one down. It really doesn't matter which one we scoot, so I'll choose that one. And then I'll select the middle one, and we'll move that one down as well into that position. Now, they don't all have to be exactly the same. I mean, I could go ahead and scale up, for instance, the bottom one. So let's do that. I'll free transform this. We'll make this larger, and then reposition it. Of course, when I do that, I'm also going to need to create a mask. So I'll grab my marquee tool, select this area right here, and then click on the mask icon in the Layers panel. And then I could move up to the second image. And again, we'll do the same thing. We'll transform it. Again, even though I'm scaling up, I'm not losing any quality because these are smart objects. Hit Enter or Return, grab my Marquee tool by tapping the M key, dragging out the Marquee, and then clicking on the mask icon to hide just any of the extra information. And I could change the rotation of this, I could distort it, I could change opacity, I could change different blend modes. It really doesn't matter what you do in the Layers panel to these layers, because by making the copies, 
when I update one, they're all going to update. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's double click on any of the smart objects in the layers panel, and that's going to edit the contents, which means it's gonna bring up that smart object into the camera raw dialog box. And of course it brings it up into camera raw because when we initially started from Lightroom, we said open as smart object. Here, let's do something really obvious. For example, we could convert this to grayscale. We could select our targeted adjustment tool and we could click in kind of the green yellow areas and click up to just lighten that up a bit. And when I click OK, you'll see that not only the smart object that I had selected was changed, but all of them were changed because by duplicating the smart object on the layers panel, I'm really just creating instances of the smart object. So there's only one smart object embedded in this document. You change that and it changes all of the instances. But what if you didn't want that? Let's just use Command Z to undo that. And let's say that we only want the image on the left to be changed. Then what I'll do is I'll select that layer in the layers panel. I'll go to the layer menu, choose Smart Objects, and we'll create a new smart object via copy. So now Photoshop is going to duplicate that embedded raw data, that, that embedded raw smart object. And if I make a change to this by double clicking on it, Again, we'll make it grayscale in this instance. We'll convert it, and then we'll use our targeted adjustment tool to just lighten up those areas. This time, when I click OK, because this is not an instance, it's its own copy of the smart object, only that one layer will be affected. So that's the difference between making duplicates of a smart object using a layers panel and making a new smart object via copy using the menu item. My name's Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.